So let me ask you this. Do players care what coaches say in the media, whether it's officiating or whether they, you know, they, they jump on a guy like very Tortorella? Like, do players care that much about that stuff? Not really, because you don't really hear it, except if you're on your own. Like, after that game, you're in the dressing room. <clears throat> you're getting your work done on your body. You're getting your your recovery stuff in, your cold tub, and you're doing your thing. The trainers are running around like crazy. They got to get to the plane. Uh, the food's coming, the this and the that. You're all doing your stuff. And, you know, the coach pops out, does his media thing. You get on the plane, you're gone. And then the next day at practice or skate or whatever, you might hear like, oh, yeah, Sutter said this or whatever. And then he'll come and address the team. And it's kind of like what happens outside of the room is like, maybe grain of salt stuff or you heard he said it or if he calls one guy out specifically they might kind of have a quick meeting on the side but it's not really like the whole team isn't like oh man Sutter said this because Sutter says a hell of a lot more than that that's a one sound bite clip that the media is going to take and the yeah. fans are going to ha have on replay what the team is actually hearing from Sutter's mouth is tenfold that and they're focused on all kinds of other things so not really but th th if it's something big like that the players might hear it if it's specific to the team or a player yeah but other than that it's it's not on the waves like it is on the outside of that locker room were you a guy who paid attention to anything coming out of the media like I, I think it's fair to proclaim that some guys do pay attention some others don't right yeah, and some guys just follow the league. Like, I didn't have Twitter or anything when I played. Um, yeah. I didn't have much to worry about. I was just worried about myself. My hands were pretty full there. <laughs> so not watching a lot, but I, I'd watch the highlights. I'd watch SportsCenter. I'd watch, you know, Leafs TV, what's going on with these people just for fun. And um, some guys probably wouldn't, especially if they're, you know, the superstars of the team or if they're in a slump or if they're not doing good enough. You probably stay away. It's just extra negativity you don't need. But um, yeah. I think it's up in the air as far as who likes to follow. Some guys just follow absolutely every team in the NHL and are focused on every little detail going on. And they just follow it like crazy. Other guys stay away. I think it's personal choice. But uh, if you're struggling yeah. and you're a star and there's pressure on you, I don't think you're watching a whole lot of uh, media at the time. I think it's unavoidable in 2022, honestly. And that's just me not really knowing much about the topic. But the fact that it's 2022, there's so much accessibility with Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. Like, you're bound to see something. You're bound to see a quote. You're bound to see a clip. But that's just the way I see it. I know it was maybe a much simpler times when you played in the NHL. I've just always been so curious about that.